Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to find the equation of a line. Now there are two main methods for writing out the equation of a line. We have slope-intercept form, which is perhaps the more common, which takes the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. The other form that you may be familiar with is called point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where again m is the slope y1 and x1 are coordinates of any point on the line. As you can see, both of these equations require the slope, so let's figure that out before we move any further. One way of thinking about the slope is rise over run. So we can pick any two points on a line that we know. In this case, we have 0, negative 1, and negative 3, negative 2, and figure out the rise over run between those two points. Here we can see that the rise is one unit, while the run is three units, giving us a slope of one third. Let's start filling in the information that we know. y equals one third x plus b, y minus y1 equals one-third x minus x1. Okay, so let's figure out what b is for this line. Recall that b is the y-intercept, or the y-value at which the line crosses the y-axis. So here we can have, we see that we have the point 0, negative 1. That is our y-intercept right here. So, we simply plug in negative 1 for b. And we're all set. But we still need to figure out this equation right here. So let's use this point that we know, negative 3, negative 2, to fill in the rest of the information for this equation. So we take our x coordinate here, plug that in for x1. Minus negative 3 means it's going to be plus 3. Okay. Then we take our y coordinate and plug it in for y1. Where minus negative 2, same as plus 2. And there's our second equation. Now, if you distribute the 1 third through the parentheses and then subtract 2 from both sides, you should get this equation here, which makes sense because it's the same line. So the two equations describing it should be equivalent. That is all there is to it. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to find the equation for a line.